What's up, YouTube? Be the trucker here coming to town with another video. So right now, we right now, we down on IT and West heading down to uh, Mobile, Alabama. Getting ready to uh, deliver this load. Um, I really didn't want to come holler at y'all right quick. I got a comment on a video that I did last week or either the week before. I can't remember exactly when I made the video. Um, it was the video I was talking about store deliveries you know you know somebody asked me about the pros and cons of doing store deliveries so I was like you know what instead of answering in the comment in the conversation I just make a video and just answer the question so that's what I'm doing making the video <laughs> but um but yeah I usually don't even do pros and cons type videos because I feel like those kind of videos are really opinionated what might be a con to you might be a pro to me and what might be a pro to me might be a con to you you know what i'm saying so that's why i normally don't don't so much do videos like this but i figured why not i might as well you know because somebody out there might feel the exact same way that i do um or just we kind of want a little bit more insight about it, you know what i think but um but yeah so the first pro i have about doing store deliveries is they're, they're more chill it's more of a chill vibe um, when you go to pick up your load now most of the time when, when you when you're doing a, a, a store delivery you're gonna pick up the load at a distribution center or a warehouse but even then it still is more chill than than most of the other times because most of the time it, it well for me personally it used to be a a, a dropping hook i bring in an empty take out my load trail um i check in with the security guard and they just tell you where to drop the trailer and they tell you where you empty it you go pick it up and you go out the gate you find your paperwork and you go out the gate um y'all saw that in one of my uh my day in the life videos that i did not too long ago you don't have to deal with nobody the only person you have to talk to is the, is the security guard. Um, so to me, that's a pro. You know, I don't have to deal with a whole lot of people. I don't have to really wait in line. Um, you know, because you you, you kind of have the uh, what's it called the uh, the priority over the other people when you when you're doing it. Um, second pro I have is. You always have a place to park doing store deliveries. Um, you know, you can, once you pick your load up, you head straight to the store if you can get there in, in one day or whatever, which most of the time you can. Um, you always have a place to park. You don't have to worry about, you know, if you're running low on time, like, dang, I'm not gonna be able to find a, a, a place to park tonight. You don't have to too much worry about nobody coming to knock on your door telling you that you can't park here. You have to leave. Um, you know, nine times out of ten, when you're doing store delivery, they know that you're coming. Like, they're expecting you. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, that's another that's another pro for me. Um, the third, third pro, or is this the second? I can't even remember. But another pro is... You get more sleep. Um, yeah, you, you get more sleep. You can, uh, like I said, you can go and pick your load up and get to the store around 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. They're not going to unload you until 6, 6.30 the following day. So while you're sitting there, you know, at 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon the day before, you're sitting in the sleeper, you know what okay 2 12 2 12 a.m that's 10 hours so you're gonna sleep like about 16 hours you know what i'm saying uh, now don't get me wrong that could be a con to some of y'all you know but it, it, it's actually a pro for me it's a pro and a con i get into that in a, in a second but um but yeah that's that's another pro is you get more sleep. Um, 
being that it's basketball season right now, I know y'all probably like, be where you going with this? <laughs> but it's basketball season. And you know, those games that come on on the West, on the West Coast, those are the late games. So I get to sit up and watch the game on the East Coast and the second game they come on on the West Coast. I get to watch both games. Get to stay up late and watch it. You know. So that's why it's a pro for me. You know, and, and you know, you can uh once six o'clock in the morning, once they unload you, uh, get ready to unload you the next day. You know how you have to do? You wake up, go and open your trailer doors, back up to the dock. And being that they unload you by hand, you can go back, you get back in your truck and go back to sleep. Cause you're gonna be there for a couple of hours. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, so yeah, you get more sleep. Um, let me see, what's another another pro? And y'all, I'm, I'm just coming out the top of the dome with it. Uh, this ain't nothing that I got wrote down or, or anything. Um, store deliveries. They, they kind of get to uh, another pro is they kind of get to know you a little bit more on a, on a personal level because um, chances are you're probably going to be going to a lot of the same stores you know so they're going to get the, the, the people that work there they're going to get familiar with you you know what I'm saying and, you know like I ain't saying you got to go and try to become friends with these people or nothing like that but you just get familiar with them is what I'm saying you know so that's a, that's a pro. Um, that, that's about really all the pros for me. Like I said, it's not. I don't really have a lot of pros. I don't really have a lot of cons. But I just wanted to come and make a video. Um, so on the flip side of that, let's get to the cons. Um, the first con of doing uh, store deliveries is you never know what type of situation you're going into. Like, you don't know if, it, if it's uh, the parking lot that you're gonna turn into. You don't know if it's a tight, tight spot. Uh, you don't know, you know, if it's not a truck, a truck route sign. You don't know what direction to go sometimes. You don't know if it's tight, if it's a big area. You know, so it's possible that you can go into a, a, a parking lot and go into it the wrong way. Um, I did that a couple days ago. I went I went to a store and I came in the wrong way. Um, I came in facing the docks instead of the opposite direction that I was supposed to come in. So I had to go out and basically go across, way across town just to turn around to come back to the store in the right direction. Um, that is just how the town was made. It wasn't nowhere for me to you know, turn around right then and there. So I had to, like I said, I had to go across town basically to turn around to come back to the store in the right direction. Um, so yeah, that, you, you never know what kind of situation you're going into. Another kind is you're not gonna always be parked in the best of places. Uh, you know, some of these stores are in some 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 weird places, some sketchy places, you know what I'm saying? Uh, sometimes you'll see people walking around in the back of the stores, like some, I guess, I guess they may be homeless, you know, and they don't have nowhere else to go. And, you know, I understand that, but at the same time, it's just, you, you just have to be on your P's and Q's at all times, because you just never know, you know what I'm saying, what these people up to, what they, what they thinking, you know. You know, so I, I just say make sure you got your doors locked and you got something to protect yourself if need be. Um, me personally though, I, I haven't had no issues. You know, ain't nobody did nothing, tried nothing, nothing like that. Not gonna move. Um, another con is, it's a lot of sick. You know, like I, like I just said, uh, on the other side, it, it was a, it's a pro, but it's a con at the same time. Um, the con is, like I said, you're gonna be sitting a lot. Um, you know, like I said, it's, it's a pro for me because you can be 
but it's also a con because while I'm asleep, I could be driving going to pick up my next load. You know, so that's something to think about if, if you're trying to get into the uh, to store deliveries and, and all of that. Just understand you're gonna be sitting a lot because these loads are loaded by hand and unloaded by hand. You know, there's no forklifts involved with it all. They're gonna put a uh, put rolling conveyor belt thing in your trailer and they're gonna be putting the boxes on there, rolling it out one by one, piece by piece, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's just something to think about if, uh, you know, if, if you're thinking about getting into it. Uh, let me see, is there anything else that's really a con for me that I can think of? That's really about it, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie to you. That, that's really about it. Um, you know. So yeah, like I said, if you're thinking about getting into, you know, doing these store deliveries, you know, whether it's furniture, uh, Walmart, uh, what, what, Rural King, just different, different uh, places, different stores and stuff like that. Uh, Dollar General, Family Dollar. Which though y'all have to unload that by, by, uh, by hand. The driver does family dollar and dollar general and stuff like that. Um, you know, so like I said, it, it, just think about it. You know, make sure it's, it's what you really want to do. Um, but yeah, I hope I hope this video was helpful to somebody out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at B underscore the trucker. That's B underscore T H A trucker. Add me on Snapchat at B Bizzle underscore three. That's B B I C C L E underscore three. And yeah, y'all highlight.